Again, today we're going to go over body language, because body language tells you the truth. A few hundred years ago, we fought a king. We beat a king, and we said we would never bow to another king again. That was what America was all about. We said, no king. We will bow to no king ever again, as long as we are America. So what does the body language tell me? What has happened to our country? Who are we? And do we get any more respect? Does the world respect us anymore? Would they respect us? When we put the King of England down, the world respected us. They even came running for our help. Many times they came running to America for help. The kings did when they needed help. Because they knew we no longer bowed to nobody. We were Americans. So what's happening to my country today troubles me. It troubles me every time I look at the news. Every time I look at so-called leaders. I'm concerned. I'm more than concerned. I'm troubled. And it makes me wonder the future of this once great country. Because we bow to no king. Americans will die before we bow to another king. And maybe that's our future. Maybe that, maybe that is our future, to fight for our freedom, because freedom is not free. As we're learning all too well again, that freedom is not free food. Freedom is not a free apartment, welfare, snap card, free cell phones, and that's not freedom. Freedom is to raise your head above your enemy. Raise your head above the enemy and say, no, we will not bow to any king ever again. So maybe we'll have to fight for our freedom again. Does a younger generation have what it takes? We'll find out.